walk where that was in Scripture. And then all of a sudden, I looked at the door and And I got a no more entitled this message. The anchor will hold. Amen. The anchor will hold. Amen. Amen. Yep. I'll tell you what. I've been cast out of church. Don't say this man's name, but don't give me swear. Sing the song. And it's anchor hold. Yeah. I tell you what tonight. God's come here, sent me here today, and it's check your anchor. I'm gonna read out of the book of Hebrews, chapter six. We're gonna read two verses that God just told me just what he wanted. We'll read verse 19. Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which entered into with the veil. You may be seated. As I got to reading this word, I, I'm bad about Googling things to find out different meanings. Thanks to Sister Nancy tonight, Kathy called her up, texted her short notice, said she could get Gary a picture of it. And I had her print this picture off of this anchor. I've seen something different in this picture than I've ever seen before. Amen. Amen. I had never noticed this before in the anchor. I'll tell you what, tonight, if you're not anchored in Jesus Christ and Him crucified and all on the cross, you're going to die and go to the devil's bed. That's right. I'll tell you what, when the storms come up around you, you think you've been through some storms, and I know there's some people in here tonight that are hurting. But I'll tell you what, there's an anchor that we have tonight. Amen. Thank Amen. Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. And I tell you what, tonight we look around us at the churches of the day and we wonder why they're falling away because they've lost the hold of their anchor. They've weakened their ropes. They've weakened their chains. They've taken things out of the things that hold us to the anchor. This whole book here is your chain to that old anchor. I tell you what, tonight when you read this old book and it tells you things, Tells you how to live and tells you things to help you when you're hurting and when you're down. Right. You start taking stuff out of it, you start weakening that chain. Yep. Amen. You start taking things out of your church. So you start taking sin out of your Bible. You start taking things that are bad out of your old Bible that you need to stay away from. The next thing you know, you're going to start falling away. Tonight we can look down the road here in the Assembly of God Church. <laughs> not even having church on a Sunday night. Yep. That's because right. the anchor's not going to hold. Right. They're going to start wondering why the kids are starting to fall away. I tell you what, it's important to be on be in church on a Sunday night. Right. Right. I tell you what, some of the best services I've been in have been on Sunday night. Amen. I tell you what, you need to get down and hold on to that old anchor. Amen. You need to hold on to that old rope. <laughs> you need to hold on. No matter whatever the storm you're going through, you think life's getting tough, you think things are going wrong for you. You think you're hurting inside, but you need to get down and get a hold of that old anchor. You need to get a hold of the old Jesus Christ Amen. and say, I want to hold Amen. on to the anchor. Yep. I want to build my house upon Amen. a solid rock. Amen. I want to build my house upon a foundation. I tell you what, tonight, when you're facing things in your life, you need to get a hold of that anchor. That's right. Amen. You need to get down there and get serious with God. And say, God, I need you to hold on to my life. No matter the storm is coming up against me, the beating down the old house, I'll tell you what, stuff's going to come up against you. And it's going to try to tear you down and try to tear you down spiritually. But when you're down, just reach down and you grab a hold of that old anchor and say, I'm going to hold on to Jesus Christ. Amen. He's going to be the, my comforter. He's going to be my support in the storm. Amen. He's going to be Amen. my lighthouse when I'm in, in the battle. And I'll tell you what, tonight Amen. we need some people to stand up and say, I'm going to hang on to an old anchor. Amen. And what we love today, I've looked at these videos, these old big ships. And they'll have chains that weigh thousands and thousands of pounds per week to hold their little ships in place. Yeah. But I'm telling you tonight, 
It's just one little old thin red line of blood <coughs> that was sent on a cross for you and I that will hold us to that old anchor. No matter what you've done in your life, no matter how you fall in your life, that anchor is still there and God's there to hold you in place. Right. I'll tell you what tonight, if you're not living for Christ tonight and you're struggling and you're hurting inside, I'll tell you what tonight, it's time to come down to an old altar and say, God, I want to get a hold of that anchor. I want to anchor my Amen. life in a solid foundation. I Amen. want to start growing with Christ. I need a friend that will comfort me closer than a brother. I need something special tonight. Amen. I'll tell you what tonight, we need some men of God to stand up and start telling the world that the hell's are coming. Amen. I'll tell you Amen. what tonight, the old devil's barking at the door. I watched that message me and Kathy did, the brother. Charlie was talking about this morning and seen all of what was going on. I tell you what tonight, the old world's coming to part in peace and fast. Yep. Yep. I tell you what, we need some men and women of God to stand up and start holding on to that old anchor and say, we're not going nowhere. Yep. Amen. We're going to stay yep. here in a little old Baptist church in Mooresville, yep. Missouri, and we're going to sit here and we're going to preach. And we're going to stop and snort and cry. Amen. But we're going to do it for Jesus Christ. Amen. We're going to hold on to something special. I right. tell you what, if you don't have that anchor in your life today, it's time to come down to an old altar and give yourself to God and say, God, I need that anchor in my life. Amen. I need something to hold me in place. I tell you what, Brother Chad, we got to just hold on. Yep. Because I tell you what, no matter how bad the old storm comes against this church, no matter how bad the storm comes against the people in this church, there's an anchor out there named Jesus Christ that will hold us together. Yep. Amen. Amen. hold the church together and will grow a church. <coughs> I tell you what, tonight, if you ain't got a hold of Jesus, I tell you what, you want a life changing, altering experience. When yep. you get down there and you get serious with God, I tell you what, I remember back in the day when people would come down to an old altar and they might be there at 10 o'clock at night praying till they got through. I tell you what, we need a hunger. You know, coming to an altar tonight right. and saying, I want you, Lord. I want to secure my anger. Don't let me fall, Lord. Lord, I'd be there to catch me and lift me up when I fall. Amen. i tell you what, tonight we need some men and women of God <coughs> that are willing just to hold, hold on to it and to fight for what's right and stand up for God and say, God, right. help me. i tell you what, tonight we need some men and women of God to get out there and witness and invite any people into this old church and bring them in out of the storm and say, here's the anchor line. I want to be the anchor line to you. I want to bring you into this old house of God. I want to bring you down to the old altar, and I want to introduce you to Jesus. Amen. I tell you what, tonight we need to get serious about this working for Christ and get serious about it. We're facing a storm like we've never seen before. Amen. Our brother Danny Castle, he got to talking about and I didn't, I've thought about it, but never really thought about the way he was preaching in that message. He said, today the world's worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Because we have the internet. We have all this stuff going against us. Right. I'll tell you what tonight, we got things going against us that our kids right. never had. Right. If you had told me when I was a young man that we'd have been able to get on our phones and look all this stuff on the internet, I was just amazed when I was in high school to play some little Apple game on the computer, and I thought that was a big deal. Yeah. And today, that's nothing. Yeah. Right. I tell you what, today, the old devil's got in that old box and got in this old cell phone, and he's using it to tear down the church today. Yeah. Right. They said that, the, that these pornography sites target Christian people. Yeah. Right. Because they know more Christians are going to look at pornography and look at things that are sin on the internet than the average person. Yeah. And I tell you what, tonight that's sad. That sad. I tell you what, tonight our old churches are starting to fall away. Yeah. I've known many men of God that have fell away because they lost hold of their anchor yeah. and let go of the old anchor. They got away from reading the old book. They got around. They got into the modern perversions, and now they're falling away to the wayside. Yeah. I tell you what, today we need some men and women of God to stand up for the old book and say the old path is a good path. Amen. We need to stay on the old path and stay where we need to go. We need to look forward to that old cross. I tell you what, over in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, Paul said, I charge thee therefore before, before God, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearance in the kingdom 
Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove yourself, rebuke yourself, exhort yourself with all long suffering and doctrine. And for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Yeah. Right. But after their own lust, and they shall heap to themselves teachings, having hit your ears. And I tell you what, that's where we're at today. That's right. We need some people to get a hold of the old ways, grab a hold yeah. of the old anchor, and hang on for dear life. Because it's important tonight, I tell you what, tonight, if you not got a hold of that old anchor and you're not holding on tonight, I tell you what, you're going to fall away in eight years. Yep. I tell you yep. what, all these so-called <coughs> preachers on the internet are preaching this heresy and this stuff on there. I tell you what, today, they'll just lead you to an old devil's hell. Yep. I tell you what, you got to be careful what you listen to. you got to listen to men of God that are anchored in the Word, anchored in the old King James Bible. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, tonight, we need some men and women of God to get seriously anchored. And I go out there and start teaching these people that have got to hit your ears and say, God, there's only one way. There's only one way to get to heaven. You can go out there and and Claim to claim all this stuff, but I tell you what tonight, until you claim Jesus Christ in your life and say, Amen. Jesus is my anchor, you're never going anywhere. Amen. Jesus is my anchor in my storms. He's anchor in the good times. He's anchor in the bad times. He's anchor all the time. Amen. He's an anchor when I wake up. He's an anchor when I go to bed. Amen. I tell you what tonight, we need to get it serious and spend time in prayer. And spend time building a relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Building a relationship with Jesus Christ includes getting in the old book and starting to study. I tell you what, I carry this old Bible and it's all beat up. The pages are falling out. I got pieces of pages missing. <coughs> and I figure if I need them, I can grab one of my other. But I stay in this old book because God's anointed this old book. And sometimes we need to start praying for an anointing to come down upon our lives. Amen. And say, God, anoint me with your spirit. That's anoint right. me with your presence. Come in and build me up. Make me the man of God or the woman of God I need to be. Amen. I tell you what, tonight we need some men and women of God to get anointed tonight. And say, I want to work for you. I want to tie myself to this old anchor. I want to build a foundation in my life. And I tell you what. Oh, God will come down and he'll start anointing things in your life. He'll start blessing your life and he'll start giving you words to say. He'll start when you go out to testify to people. If you'll start getting the anointing of God on your life. And it's amazing when you've got the anointing and God's over you and he's touching you. How much words God will give you to say when you need to be there to testify. Or when you need to witness to somebody. It's amazing what will come back in your mind that you had totally forgot we got to bring it back to your remembrance and say, there it is, boy. Get them. Yep. Start telling them about me, Lord. Start just tell them about me, boy. I'll tell you what tonight. We need to get serious about God. Get tied down to that old anchor and hold on for dear life. Amen. I'll tell you what. I want to thank God tonight. My old lungs are feeling pretty good tonight. Amen. I'll tell you what. That's a praise of God. Amen. You know, I just listened to some old preachers. They talking about them old, old Jack Howells talking about them old sawdust trail preachers and the old leather on preachers. They didn't have this modern convenience, these microphones. And when I grew up, we go to these old country churches and you can hear them outside, them old preachers. They get all wound up, they get shouting, spitting, stomping, snorting. And next thing you know, you'd hear them outside the door. I'll tell you what, tonight we need some men of God to get on fire and say, I'm going to preach the Word of God. I'm going to get, get under the anointing of Jesus. And I'm going to preach what God gives me. I don't care what the world says. They can make fun of me. They can make fun of where I go to church. But I'm anchored in the Word of God. I'm Amen. anchored in God tonight. I'm going to stay with Christ tonight. I'm going to stay anchored up. Right. <coughs> i tell you what tonight. Oh, brother. Dwayne can tell you, when you're out there fishing for fish, sometimes you got to get anchored up. Sometimes nowadays they got these old spot lock trolling motors that hold you in the spot. I tell you what, we need to get that old spot lock locked down. We need to get that old lock down on them old fish. We need to get out there and get to doing some fishing for Christ. I tell you what, tonight we just need to get locked on what we're doing. We need to get anchored down. We need to hold in place and start worshiping God and start witnessing for Christ and go out there and those that are lost and dying and go to a devil's hell. We need to lift them up and start praying for them. That's right. We need to pray for conviction on them. We need to pray for God to take sleep from their eyes. 
take whatever he has to take from them to put conviction upon their lives. I'll tell you what, sometimes when you pray, that's a hard prayer to pray. I'll tell you what, I'd say I pray for my son all the time. I'm like, Lord, start convicting him. Start dealing with his heart. Open his eyes. Take the scales off his eyes. Unblind him to the world and let him see the truth. I'll tell you what, tonight we're going to have to start praying for some things. And some of the people we're praying for may have to go through some rough times. But I tell you what, what is the rough time they face here on this earth is nothing compared to the eternity in hell. Amen. I'll tell you what, tonight we need to start praying some old time Holy Ghost conviction down yeah. on people today. There was a little old seven year old girl on them came to come down and spend the night with Katie when she was a little girl. She went home to her mom and daddy. She'd seen my liquor cabinet. She went home to her mama. Said, Mama, we got to pray for Uncle Gary and Aunt Kathy. They're going to hell. And they got down there at their old couch in their living room when they got home. And they started praying for their Uncle Gary and their Aunt Kathy. Within a month, we was in Kingsway Free Will Baptist Church. Kathy got saved. I got my life straightened out. And I tell you all, my life ain't been the same since. Amen. Well, some little girl had it. The unction and the anointing on her life to get down and get serious about prayer. Amen. I tell you what, Gary spent a whole week without, I couldn't sleep at night. He couldn't Amen. focus on anything. Everything Gary touched was going wrong. Yep. But I tell you what, when I went in that church, I couldn't tell you what old brother Derek Terry preached about that uh, that Sunday morning there. But I can take you right down to the spot there on the old altar. Amen. As you walk into church, it's down on the right hand side. You go down there by middle ways, and that's where me and Kathy got our family. Right. I tell you what, if your life ain't right, you got things going on in your life, you need to come down to an old altar and find a spot. Yes, amen. And I tell you what, you'll remember amen. that spot where you get your family got right. Amen. When you get down there to that old altar and you start pouring it out to God and say, God, I want everything right in my amen. life. Amen. I got things going on in my life right now. I need to get things right. I tell you what, the way to get things right is to come down to an old altar. Yeah. Amen. Get that old anchor tied up. <coughs> get you a new rope, get it all fresh and tied up, and say, I'm anchored in Christ tonight. Right. I'll tell you what, tonight, we got to get serious and get anchored in Christ. Yep. We need to get serious about praying for those that are lost and the loved ones Amen. that are around us. Right. And I'll tell you what, husbands, we need to start praying for our wives and our girlfriends and our spouses that when they're going through things, that we can lift them up. Amen. Amen. Women, we need to start praying for our husbands. That's right. Always. When they're going through things, I'll tell you what, man and wife is an anchor of the family. Amen. When they're joined together, they're an anchor. They're what holds the family together. <laughs> the man needs to be the man of God. He needs to be. He needs to be anchored in Christ. Amen. And he needs to be there to lead the family. And I'll tell you what, women, you need to be there to support him. You need to be there to hold his hand and say, I'm there to support you. <laughs> I'm there to hold you together. And I'll tell you what, you build a family. I'll tell you what, until you put Jesus as an anchor in your home life and in your life at home, you're going to have battles. Right. And you're going to have battles that you don't think you can face. You're going to have battles that are able to tear your marriage and your family down. And I'll tell you what, tonight you come down to the old altar and you get a little fresh dose of that old salvation to say, God, Sometimes when we go down to no altar, it wouldn't hurt none of us to go down there and say, God, forgive me of the things I've done that I don't know I've done. Yeah. Right. Convict me of the things I've done that I need to know That's I've right. done. Right. Sometimes we got to get serious. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We get things cleaned up a little bit before we get down there, and then we need to spend some time with God. No. But we don't need some of them prayers. We just come down to an altar and say, God, would you just... Deal with old so and so and this and do this. Do this. No, we need to get down to the old altar and pour our heart out to God. That's right. Right. We need to spend time with God, not be worried about how long we spend down there in the old water bench. We need to get down there. We need to get serious about our family and our friends. That's right. If you got a friend or family that's lost and dying and going to a devil's hell tonight, it would hurt to come down to the old altar and get serious for God tonight right. and say, God, you get down there and you start convicting these people. Lord, give me the words to say to this with these families. And I tell you what, tonight, we need to get serious about those that are around us that are lost and dying. <coughs> we probably ought to have a song of hesitation. I think God's telling me I'm done. All alone to start to give out. But I tell you what, tonight, if you've got stuff going on in your life that you're struggling with, if you're lost and you're dying and you're going to the devil's hell, 
It's time to come down to an old altar. If you're afraid to come down by yourself, or somebody here will come down with you. I'll tell you what, tonight, if you're facing battles in your life, just come on down to this old altar and start laying it down. If you got somebody in your life you need to bring it, come on down to an old altar tonight. Just lay it down here tonight.